What is up guys? So a couple weeks ago I actually showed you how to put newsstand into a folder without a jailbreak on your iDevice. But thanks to RageHack, we can actually now hide newsstand and any other stock app you don't want on your iDevice without a jailbreak. Best part about it is that you can actually directly do it from your iDevice by simply going to this website, which is going to be ragehack.no-ip.org. I will have the link down below in the description. Now when opening up the site, we are greeted with some options here. We'll simply just tap on hide apps without jailbreak there. And after that, we just scroll down and we have various options from hiding newsstand, hiding reminders, notes, calculator, passbooks, and etc. Now some apps are on selected devices, but I'm pretty sure you figured that out yourself already. Things like FaceTime and things like that, that's only on the iPod Touch and on the iPad. Anyways, when we simply tap on one of these options, like let's go ahead and hide something, let's do newsstand real quick. Now we are prompted with an option to cancel it or install. Go ahead and tap on install. It will now act like it's installing something and then you will receive this error. Don't worry, this is actually normal. Go ahead and tap on done. Now you will see your newsstand icon basically look like it froze halfway during the fake install. Now go ahead and hold down on an app to set to wiggle mode and now you do see you have the X on whatever app you chose to delete so simply click on the X and now it is actually deleted now this method does not permanently delete your apps forever from your iDevice the way to get them back is by simply turning off your device and then turn back on it will now reappear as you see here but anyways guys that's gonna be it for this quick video on how to actually hide any stock app on your iDevice just in case you don't want them. For sure, I never use Newsstand, and now that I can actually get rid of it, that is pretty awesome. So as always, go ahead and hit that little like button if you like this video, and give it a thumbs up to show me that you liked it. And also, if you have any questions or comments, leave that in the comment section below. And for future updates, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and or on Facebook. I update those constantly with different tech news and all that good stuff. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when I come out with all my latest videos. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. Alright, peace!